Crafting a bow and arrow in a survival situation can be a useful skill for hunting or self-defense. Here's a general guide on how to make a basic bow and arrow in the wilderness. Materials needed. Flexible and sturdy wood for the bow, such as yew, ash, or oak. Cordage or strong string. Straight and lightweight wood for the arrow shafts. Small, sharp-edged stones, bone, or other suitable materials for arrowheads. Feathers or fletching material. Knife or sharp cutting tool. Making the bow. Find suitable wood. Look for a straight and flexible branch or sapling, around as long as your arm and as thick as your thumb. Yew, ash, or oak are good choices if available. Shaping the bow, remove any branches or protrusions from the wood. The bow should have a gentle curve when unstrung. Bend the branch slightly and tie cordage or strong string to both ends, creating tension. This will shape the bow and help it retain its form. Stringing the bow. Cut a length of cordage or strong string that is slightly shorter than the bow when unstrung. Attach the string to each end of the bow, ensuring it is securely tied or looped around notches carved into the wood. Making the arrows. Arrow shafts. Find straight and lightweight wood for the arrow shafts, around as long as your arm. Remove any branches or knots. Straighten the shafts by heating them over a fire and gently straightening them as they become pliable. Arrowheads. Look for small, sharp-edged stones or other suitable materials in the wilderness. Shape them into arrowheads by chipping or grinding them against harder surfaces. Alternatively, you can use bone, glass, or metal if available. Fletching. Collect feathers or fletching material from birds if possible. Trim the feathers to a similar length and attach them near the end of the arrow shafts, creating stability during flight. Secure the feathers with cordage or glue if available. Attaching arrowheads. Carve a small notch or groove at the front end of the arrow shafts to attach the arrowheads. Use cordage, glue, or resin to secure the arrowheads in place. Notching the arrows. Create a small notch or groove at the other end of the arrow shafts to hold the bowstring. Ensure the notches are smooth to prevent the bowstring from getting caught. Remember, crafting a functional bow and arrow in a survival situation can be challenging, and the quality of materials available may vary. Practice caution and adjust the design and construction based on the resources and tools you have at hand. Proper technique and practice are also necessary to use the bow and arrow effectively and safely.